I'm Robert Douglas. I'm Hillary Russell. And we do Libation. Michael Davis, uh, Kid Methuselah, and the show is Trilogy. One of three of us. Hi, I'm McAllister. I'm Substitute Cast Monster. <laughs> and I'm Christina, AKA Intern Christina. And we host She Rocks on Wednesday nights at 7 p.m. Junior Francis, <clears throat> I host the reggae show here on Cake Salou. My name is Eddie Beckton. I host the Jazz Journey every Monday from 6 p.m. until 7 p.m. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Pat. I do Alien Air Music on Sundays, 8 to 10 p.m. And I also do another show, Global Ethnic and Folk Music, which is Many Voices, One World. Hi, my name is Don. I do a radio show on KXLU called 55 Shades of Blue, which is every Sunday night from 10 p.m. to midnight. I'm Big Red, host of Groove Time, KXLU's international dance music program. Uh, my name is Kyle Art Threat. I do a show called Pearl Art Threat here on KXLU. I've been doing it since the early 2000s, and I've been at KXLU since 97. <laughs> KXLU has kept me young for 37 years, so technically I'm still 12. For me, it's just the cool factor. It's just unlike any radio station. I mean, there's online radio, there's satellite, all of that stuff. This is really just good hometown radio. Why do I love KXLU? Last Bastion of Freeform Radio. In Southern California, in California, in the United States of America, perhaps beyond. Um, the freedom. The, uh, the ability to say, hey, you know, you can play any kind of music you want. Obviously, a handful of limitations, you know. No some kinds of words, no blah, blah, blah. But almost, you know, I can do what I want. But there's a way that they make me understand that they're, what those limitations are and just roll with them and just, hey, you can't get that anywhere else. Besides, we're not asking for stuff 24-7 like some of our crosstown rivals are. You know, we just do that once a year, and that to me, we're for the whole community rather than just uh, people that have the money to be able to support us. Freedom, a uh, uh, great deal of freedom here, which you don't necessarily have on other radio stations. Additionally, it's in the heart of Los Angeles, the entertainment capital of the world, so that says a lot. The freedom, like Junior Francis said. The freedom, nobody tells me what to do. As long as I abide by FCC rules, I'm good. And that's why I'm here. And uh, the other thing I like, too, being surrounded by youngsters who have all types of musical taste. That's a big plus, too. And uh, like the other hosts say, the freedom that KXLU allows you to have, you can basically have your own shows, your own domain, and you can play what you want. You don't have to answer to anybody. And also, uh, like uh, I think Junior Francis said, or is it Eddie, being around young people, it makes me forget how old I am, although I do have the gray hairs to prove it and the back pain along with it, but I still love it being here. It's a, KXLU is a great experience for everybody involved. It's it's really a shining beacon in the light of LA. It makes, worth, makes, it makes being in traffic worthwhile. The thing I love about KXLU is that it's the opportunity for artists who wouldn't normally get airplay in LA to be played on LA airwaves. And it's just, it's a beautiful station. And I like the diversity in programming across KXLU because you get a little bit of every genre, which is awesome. Actually, I started listening to KXLU when I was in like junior high and high school. And I grew up in the Valley and it was the only place where like my friends' bands could play or you could send something in and actually hear it on the radio. And it was really fun. And I ended up coming to Loyola Marymount in part because I could be part of the station and all these years later I'm still here which is kind of weird but kind of cool so um, that's something that I really like about KXLU.